you guys how to make um, white chicken enchiladas. The first step you need to do is make salsa chicken. What? Okay, sorry. It's not used to doing this. Okay, uh, so the first thing you need to do is put the chicken in the crock pot. This. And you can choose any salsa you want to put in it. Just dump the whole thing of, well, it depends how much you have, in the crock pot. First, you gotta turn it on. I already have my chicken in there. You have frozen chicken or whatever you want. And you have to have it on high for four hours. And once it's done, you could put a kitchen timer on. Microwave. Uh, no, I'm just not going to do that, but. Okay. So. I use this salsa. And when that's been cooking for four hours, I'm going to show you how to uh, make the other stuff. Okay. Uh. When your crock, when your uh, chicken's cooking, it kind of like shreds, and it you don't have to cut it then. So when you put it in your enchilada, you don't have to cut it, and it's already equally shredded apart. I'll be back this time for real. Okay, so what you need after you cook your chicken is. A can of diced green chilies, a can of cream of chicken soup, two cups of shredded cheese, and a pint of sour cream. So, once you have all the ingredients out, you want to preheat your oven to 375 degrees. Okay, after you have that done, you're gonna have to mix all the ingredients, but keep the tortillas aside for later. Mix all the ingredients in a small bowl, a bowl that will fit the ingredients. Okay. Cheese, sour cream, sour cream. So after you mix all the ingredients in the sauce, um, it should look a little yellowish, whitish. So, when you have all that mixed together, you get a small bowl, and you put two thirds of a cup aside in this for the bottom of the this. So, um, when you eat it, like it's more slippery, easier to cut. And there's an extra layer of flavor at the bottom. Okay. Okay. Once you got the small bowl and sauce in it, you want to spread it on the bottom of the glass thing. So. Boom. Cream chicken, uh, whatever it's called. Okay. <clears throat> so, you got this done. Then, you line up 12 tortillas. So, I'm going to move the camera. So. 
I meant to press pause there. Hi, um, I'm back. I forgot to tell you. You roll it up like this. Not like a burrito. You don't fold it like a burrito. You just roll it. Try and make it as small as possible. So when you get that glass thing over there. So when you put it in here. There's enough room when you just put it right there. Because you have to fit all 12 of them in here. Okay. Now when I get all 12 of them, we'll be back. Okay, I'm finishing up my last two. Um, since there's can only fit 10 across, you're going to want to... One second. You're going to want to put them right there in that little crevice. Force. Okay, that's what it should look like before you put the final topping on. So, again, use what we usually use to spread on that regular spreading spoon. Okay, I'm gonna magically put it on. One, two. By the way, if you were wondering how much um, chicken you use, three chicken breast. Okay, three chicken breast. Once you have that all spread, get one cup of cheese and and spread it on top. But since I'm magic, I just pour it on top and so um yeah. Um since we preheated the oven, I'm gonna take this and put it in there. Never mind. Get an adult to do it. But before you let your parents do it, for 30 minutes you have to have this on top of it so it doesn't like melt, well not melt, but uh, burn. burn. So just slide that on top, make sure that it stays on when it's cooking. Okay, so set a kitchen timer for 30 minutes and when it beeps you'll know to take off the aluminum foil well tin foil whatever you use and then just take it off and leave it in there for another 30 minutes and it should be done the cheese should be melted look all good I'll be back take the tin foil off You know how I said you put it in for 30 more minutes after you take off the tinfoil? You actually put it in for 15 more minutes. So, yeah. Okay. So when you're done, it should look like this. This is the final product. Mm -mm. It's gonna be all good. Just wait for it to cool down. And mm, yummy. You taste that. Little uh, chili flavor, the cheese flavor, all that. It does. It's delicious. Thank you. This is my project. I just showed you how to make white chicken enchiladas.